Number 10, we are going to read a graph. It says the graph below represents, represents the monthly cost of selling expenses. Here, the monthly cost is in dollars. So in January, we were between $800 and $900, so that would be at $850. February, we were at $1,100, and so forth. So what was the highest monthly cost? The highest one is obviously going to be this top point. The highest cost was $1,400. During which month did the greatest decrease in selling expenses occur when compared to the cost of the selling expenses for the previous month? So we're trying to find where the greatest decrease occurred. So here we're increasing. We went from 850 to 1100. Here we're also increasing. We went from 1100 to 1400. Now we're figuring out where did we decrease? How much did we decrease by? So here we're going down. Those are decreases. 1400 to 1250. So I'm just going to grab my calculator here. 1400 minus 1250 decreased by 150. Then here we went from 1250 down to 1050. So 1250 minus 1050 is $200 that it decreased by. And then here we were at 1050. We went down to 950. $100. So where did the greatest decrease occur? It occurred here between April and May. You're then going to say that the greatest decrease occurred from the previous month in May. Drop the most from April to May, so you're going to give the May answer. So number 11 says the graph below represents the average ticket sales per game by a college football team in each season during the seven season period. So for example, here in 1996, we were right here. This is going up by eight, nine, 10. So up by hundred dollars. So if this is 8,300, 8,400, 8,500. So this would be at $8,500. 1997, we'd be just at $8,400 and so forth. So it says, what was the highest average ticket sales for the team? What was the highest one? The highest one is here. So I'm looking right here. So that would be 92, 93, 94. 9,400 was the average number of tickets sold in 2002. In what season did the team have the greatest decrease? So we're looking for where did it drop? It dropped a little bit here, but it dropped way more right here. And so all of these then are increasing, 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 and increasing. Each dot is going higher. So my biggest decrease, it dropped the most from here to here. So in 1998 is where we had the biggest drop. Again, we're looking at our graph. The graph represents the donations collected by a small charity organization for a six-year period. These are going up by thousands, and so in between here would be 750. So what was the lowest amount of donations collected? So right here's my low. My low is between 13,500 and 12,500. If you're not sure, add them up and average them because it's halfway between those two numbers. So 12,500 plus 13,500 is 2,600. If I divide that by two, halfway between those is going to be 1,300, right? And so this one here is going to be 1,400 and so forth. So what was the lowest amount? $1,300. In what year did the organization have the greatest increase? So I'm looking for where it increased. Here it increased, it's going up from one point to the next. Here it increased, and then here it increased a whole lot. So the biggest increase is right here, 
and so the greatest increase in donation compared to the previous year, the biggest increase in 2001. If you're not sure, figure out the two ends and subtract to figure out what the difference is between those. But here, hopefully, it's fairly obvious that that's where it went up the most because it was way down here at 1400 and ended up at 1800 so it increased by quite a bit.